You are listening to From Ring to Veil. I'm Shannon. And I'm Kim. And we are your wedding planning gurus. We take the stress out and put the fun back into wedding planning. Candlelight ideas and where to shop for your wedding decor. Episode number 183. We have a great resource for you if you're getting married in the Seattle area, even if you're doing a destination in the Seattle area. We have an awesome resource guide for you that we worked really hard on. There are over 50 vendors. Each section has at least three vendors that we have vetted that we say it's okay to call these people and work with them because they're awesome. You can find that at fromringtoveil.com slash RG paperback or fromringtoveil.com slash RG Kindle. Or you can go to the Amazon store and just look Seattle Wedding Planning. Don't forget about our Facebook group, our For Ring Devel Wedding Planning community. We offer awesome advice with vendors and individuals planning weddings and all kinds of things and if you have a question or you need to vent we're always there somebody will answer somebody will give you some great advice so check out our wedding planning group all you need to do is answer two questions to get in and you'll get awesome advice today we get to talk about one of our favorite things well a couple of our favorite things (laughs) shopping and (laughs) yeah (laughs) candles (laughs) so we decided that it was time to talk a little bit about decor because it's been quite a while so we are talking about candlelight and we talk about it a lot because it is a cost-effective way to bring elegance and romance to your to your wedding i love candlelight i don't know about you but it's one of my favorite things in weddings is to decorate with candles and i used to do it a lot i gave a lot of advice to my couple's that hey put candlelight in your ceremony put it on your tables it'll make everything look great because it gives a great ambiance there are many types of candles and candle holders and we're going to talk about the types of candles and then what you can put these types of candles in via holders basically how to display them correct right that's a great (laughs) way (laughs) to say that it's been a very hard day anyway all right shannon Tell us about taper candles. I put white taper candles. I like white candles. Of course, if you have a different color in mind, you can get any kind of colors almost for candles. And we'll give you some links to some great places to buy candles that are very, very budget friendly. White taper candles are taper candles. They're the long skinny ones. I'm showing I'm showing Kim that they're long and skinny. Not that you can see me. <laughs> I like to talk with my hands. And they are tapered, which means they are skinnier at the top and fatter at the bottom. Yes. But not significant. You know, it's just a a small taper usually. You can put these in metal holders, short or long. In a like a movie in the 1800s, they always carry Mm -hmm. around a candle upstairs. You can put them in those. And there's all kinds of other little things you can put them in. Chandeliers, candelabras are great. I think that would be so pretty. I mean, we did a chandel or a candelabra on a at a display one time, and of course there was floral on it because you know <laughs> that's what we did. But it was so pretty, and then with the tapers sticking up and out of it, it just was very romantic and not not fancy. But what's another word? <laughs> elegant. Elegant. Yeah. Any kind of candlelight brings the elegance and. Of your ceremony and reception up a notch. It does. It makes everything glow. That's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. Pillar candles are the next kind. You can put them in glass hurricanes and cylinder vases. You can put them in multi-different. They come in different sizes. So do the hurricanes and the cylinder vases. And my favorite way to do them in a reception is put the multi-tiered cylinder vases on the table and put the candles in them. And then you can put either petals around them or gems or any kind of things. You could put gems inside the hurricanes to make it sparkle a little bit more. And you can put anything. Yeah. You don't have to have flowers at all. No, no. They're so versatile. And like you said, they come in all different sizes. So you can get small fat ones, small Mm -hmm. skinny ones, tall fat ones, tall skinny ones. I mean, like, they just have a plethora of sizes Mm -hmm. that you can work with. And you don't have to always put them inside glass. You can put them on something. I've seen them on, like, wood rounds and stuff like that. And pillar stands. Yeah. You can put them in lanterns. Super popular. Right. 
You can add flowers to the lanterns. You don't have to. You can put them Mm -hmm. on lanterns and put flowers around the lantern. I mean, it's just candlelight is versatile. Candles are versatile. You could do almost anything with them. Votives. My favorite thing in the whole wide world. (laughs) Because you could put them anywhere. Yeah. They're small enough. You can get a whole bunch of them and you can just put them anywhere. Any flat surface that you think, oh, there's something missing there. Put pillar candles or votive candles on it. Votives, yeah. And it'll light up your ceremony and reception. And you can put them on reception tables. You can put them on reception tables, as I said, to give ambient light around your centerpieces. You can place along other candles to give dimension. Tall, you have your tall pillar candles. You can put the votives down at the bottom. It'll bring up the light into them. You can use them in backdrops if you have a certain kind of like a, a paneled backdrop and you have mm-hmm. sections in there where you can stick things in. You can put candles in those. I think those are so pretty. Mm. And, you know, something we should have probably mentioned is that you can get most of these in LED lights, little bitty LED flickering lights that mm-hmm. look like real candles that don't actually burn because a lot of uh, venues now are they, they want flameless uh, candles. So you can find these either or like a real flame or mm. uh, no flames. With the votives, though, if you're putting them in places where there are kids or teenagers or even <laughs> young guys. Or adults who have too much to drink. <laughs> because I have seen them where they have caught the flowers on fire. Okay, so. On purpose. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, let's see if we can catch this flower on fire. Yeah. Or napkin or something, yeah. you know. And with the flameless, you have no wax cleanup. That's right. Because the wax is going to overflow the longer you put on the wax candles. And you have to clean them out of the votive holders, excuse me, or any kind of holder. And wax is hard to clean up unless you have a big freezer to put everything in. Because, <laughs> you know, you put them in freezers, it'll come right out. But if you don't have a big freezer to put all these in, then it's hard to clean up. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. You know, if you've got fire bugs, mm. you might want to make <laughs> sure that those are LEDs. Mm. Hanging terrariums are awesome for votives. Mm-hmm. They're so pretty. And you can hang them from anything. Tree, if you're having your wedding outside under a tree, you can hang these terrariums all over this tree and have it just sparkle with light. You can hang them on shepherd hooks down the aisle chandeliers rafters beams like i said from trees it's just you know you have endless possibilities and you don't really need if you're outside and you're take you have your wedding ceremony under a tree you don't really need anything else but nature right right maybe just a little something yeah and then you know candles hanging everywhere <laughs> and and terrariums come where you don't have to hang them because usually there's a little bitty flat part on st- on at least one side of them that, well, depending on what you buy, that they don't have to actually hang. So you can use that as part of your centerpiece in these little terrariums with the, with the candles Mm. or floral or whatever you decide to put in there. So floaty candles are the next thing and they're awesome. They come in multi sizes too. You can have one from like three inches all the way down to an inch and they float and they'll light and there's not really any led floating candles. I mean, unless you get the submersible ones and then they're not really floating okay. anymore. LED, they come in LED submersibles. You can put them in the bottom of cylinder vases and then put like beads or something on them and it will uplight, you know, the cylinder vase. You could put a floating candle on top of that and it'll have more light. So, I mean, it's versatile. Um, floating candles can also be in cylinder vases with or without flowers. You can have flowers on the bottom with a floating candle on top. You can put them in just bowls. You can put them in fountains if you have a, if you're in a ceremony or reception place that has a venue that has fountains, put candles in it. (laughs) You know, I've even seen them in um, swimming pools Mm -hmm. or, you know, things like that. But the only thing with the swimming pools is because it's uh, continuously moving, they all end up bunched in the same place. Right. So, yeah, it's really cool unless you have anchors keeping them where they're supposed to be. Keep that in mind. (laughs) Or they all be clumped up by the filter you know basically same thing with fountains too because the the water continuously moves and they all kind of get up in one spot but you know put them in there and then get the photographer to take a picture of it and then don't worry about it (laughs) 
<laughs> work it yeah so candle candlelight is versatile it's cost effective and it if you don't like flowers it's the best thing to go with for table decor or anything like that so that's right that's right and again we have a pinterest board <laughs> there are so i mean like we could pin probably for days candle ideas um <laughs> and i think but- i did for a day <laughs> I sit there almost all freaking day. I'll probably go through and add some more, too. (laughs) (laughs) I've got a wide variety there. There's a link on the show notes, so you can check them out, too. There's one there where they're on a beach, and they're inside of a heart on the beach with candlelight. So it's really cool. Super pretty. (laughs) (sighs) Candles. Who doesn't love candles? Mm -mm. If you have not checked out our sponsor, Zola, yet, you need to do that. Go to Zola.com slash FRTV. Check it out. They are not only a registry, but they have many wedding planning tools, including free wedding websites. Now, I went through there and set up one just really quickly. And Shannon's probably going to do this, and I'm going to have her change it all up. But they had some (laughs) really cute designs, one that I loved right off the bat. And I'm like, yep, I'm using that one because it had trees and mountains, and it was green and all that (laughs) stuff. So it totally fit me. Meaning they have so many that you can choose from that it'll most likely you will be able to find something that really fits your, your design and your feel for your wedding. You can add photos and stories about how the two of you met. You can have travel and accommodation info on there. And also a a frequently asked questions section where, hey, they ask if I can bring my kids. Can I have a plus one? That's where they can go to find all of these answers. And don't forget, it's also a registry. So you can also register at Zola for all of your household and other needs. Even travel gift cards. That's right. And it integrates with the website. So there's no click here, go there. Your your registry is right there. So if you want to take advantage of this, go to www.zola.com slash FRTV. We've had a lot of questions lately about where do you find wedding decor? Cost effective, budget friendly, whatever. And a lot of people are looking for like, bridesmaids dresses that are very budget friendly because most of the brides here in the u.s or the bridesmaids here in the u.s have to pay for their own wedding dress that's right we're going to give you a list of some places to go search for all of your wedding decor so to start out with the most basic place to find any wedding decor and it's the most it's the easiest place to go find anything nowadays is amazon I'm not just saying that because my husband works here. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. It is. It's the easiest place. I mean, I rarely go shop anywhere else <laughs> because I don't like shopping malls. I hate them. I mean, I'll go to Target. Don't get me wrong. I love Target. But I just, malls just freak me out because, you know, my I don't like to be closed in with a lot of people all around me. So anyway, so Amazon is a great place to go look. The new one that's very popular now, but you really need to watch what you're buying and check out all the reviews and stuff on that thing is Wish. Wish Wish.com. Okay. Everything's very, very cheap, I would say. And it takes forever for you to get your item because they mostly come from overseas. Yes. But you can find some great wedding planning stuff there. Wedding decor. They have like the confetti balloons and drapery and all kinds of things on there. So make sure you read the reviews and see how long it's going to take for them to get there. That's right. Now, you know, there's a place that we all love. I don't know anybody that doesn't like it, but Ikea. (laughs) Now, you're probably not buying furniture for your wedding, so that's okay. But they have so many other very awesome stuff for your wedding a lot of this candle stuff that we talked about Mm -hmm. you can find at ikea and for a very good price Uh, we we used to buy glassware from there yeah they have some really great votives and pillar candle glass stuff they also have lanterns and all different kind of sizes and shapes and metal glass some of them are wood they have also 
artificial flower stems and they have yes. re- they have real plants that you can add and incorporate into your wedding too. They also have things like chandeliers that you can use even just for a lighting. They have rugs. They have wooden. Um, they're actually like trivets and stuff, but you can a- use them as accents and decor items. So check out Ikea when you go to find some some decor things because you might find something that's a little different and interesting and not too expensive. Believe it or not, the dollar store. Okay, let me tell you about the dollar store. If you're in business for flower arranging and wedding decor and stuff like that, the dollar store has an online store that you can go buy cylinder vases and bubble vases and votive candles and all of that kind of stuff. And it can be delivered to the store. So you don't have to pay for shipping and you can go pick it up. And guess what? Everything's a dollar. Even like stemless things that you can use as decor items. They have little bitty stem votives. They have cylinder vases and different sizes. I mean, we use them all the time when we were doing flowers because it was the most cost effective thing to buy cylinder vases at. They're a dollar. That's right. Hello. That's right. Thrift stores. We found so much at thrift stores, <laughs> just walking up and down the aisles. Sometimes you can find a really good lot of things, especially if you're going with the mismatched stuff. That's a great place to find things. It's also a great place to find candles and candle holders and things like that. Because once somebody is done with the wedding, usually they'll go take them all to the thrift stores, like Goodwill <laughs> yeah. and... What's the one in Washington that everybody goes to that I can't? Value Village. And Value Village and all of that. And, you know, you go after June or July and there's this whole shelf full of candles. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So. That are maybe only halfway burned or not even burned. Yeah. Wedding swap boards on Facebook. The buy and sell pages and yes. groups, things like that. Tons. You can find dresses. You can find decor. You can find all kinds of things on those. Etsy. Oh, They have a whole wedding section. Did you know that? (laughs) If you go to Etsy, they have a wedding category, I guess is what I should say. Mm -hmm. Um, And you click on that, you can find anything for your wedding. Like you said, even dresses, custom made stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, they're not the cheapest, but they're very unique. And you can find some very interesting things there. And they're from craftsmen, you know. Yes. Individually, people who make these things. And as always... You know, these people put their heart and the soul into things. And so, yes, it's going to be more expensive. That's right. eBay. Hey, you can't you can't help but look on eBay for stuff because you can find all kinds of things on eBay. Decor, wedding dresses, tuxes. Heck, you can probably find invitations and all this kind of stuff. I mean, it doesn't matter. Everything's on eBay. <laughs> That's true. Uh, flea markets. I mean, you, it's the same kind of thing as going to eBay, basically, <laughs> or thrift store. You can find uh, plenty of lots of stuff for your uh, decor items. Mm-hmm. Vintage markets. They have these every like quarter. You can go to these and walk around. And a lot of it's the farmhouse decor now. So if that's your theme, you can mm-hmm. find all kinds of stuff. Craft stores, of course. Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Ben Franklin's, Joanne's Fabrics. There's all kinds of stuff in there. And sometimes they have really great sales. Like Hobby Lobby always, you know, every other week it's a different 50% off sale. So that's right. You go there and you find all kinds of stuff. They have glassware, flower stems, you know, all kinds of stuff for your wedding. Like invitation suites that you can print your own self and everything. So go check out the hobby stores. And now let's talk a little bit about clothing items for for a little bit. Not just decor. (laughs) Mod cloth, which I think we've all heard of. Right. Have you purchased from them? Oh, yeah. I purchase from them all the time because they have a lot of vintage looking clothing and I love it. And But they also have a wedding section and a formal section that you can go in and you can find bridesmaid dresses or even wedding dresses. Sometimes if you're not having a formal wedding, you can go by. They have lots of long, white, beachy field dresses or, you know, garden field dresses and things like that. It's great. Weddington Way is another one. They have all kinds of, you can go on there and you can find the color and the style you want. They can help you out with that. I've not heard of them. Yeah. Is it mainly just wedding stuff? Yeah, it's just wedding stuff. Okay. It's mainly it's mainly bridesmaids and things like that. 
not really wedding dresses, but I think they have some white ones and things. So you can, if you want a semi-formal or a less formal wedding dress, they might have that too. Rent the runway. Awesome. We've talked about this before. You can rent dresses. You don't have to buy them. That's right. And it's really neat because they, they, they'll send you, like you'll pick your size, but you can get a size up or size down just as a backup. Mm-hmm. And um, and it's free returns, so yes. you don't have to pay to return it. Yes, it's just a really unique pla- uh, place to find really nice stuff that maybe you can't really afford to buy <laughs> these designer things, you know, and you just need it for a wedding. Maybe you could get your bridesmaids outfitted there. Mm-hmm. Or you get your shower dress or something. But uh, it's a really unique system, I think. So we hope we helped you out a little bit with where to find your decor, where to find dresses or whatever. If you have some ideas or something we didn't mention, let us know. We'll add yes, it to the list. Please. Yes. All right. Before we finish up here, I just have a little update. I was able to go to Montana and uh, with a friend for the weekend. And we stopped at a few places that were mentioned in our Montana venue show with Kate. So I was actually able to put my eyes on some of these and it was really, really neat to see these. The first one is the lodge at Whitefish Lake. Kate talked about this as one of her hidden gems in episode number 139. There will be a link there for you. I was just impressed with with Montana as a whole, but it was just really pretty because there was a, a very beautiful looking pristine lake out there and of course there's basically mountains around you and they have a a really beautiful tent set up so it's a tent but on the inside it's got drapery and chandeliers and they had it set up with a bunch of tables so I got to kind of see it it wasn't fully decor or anything like that they were going to have a wedding the next day it's a lovely spot. I will post some pictures or some uh, a link to that. Uh, we also stopped at McDonald Lake Lodge. At the time, they were having a wedding, so I didn't have anybody that I could speak to. Um, I didn't really want to hone you didn't in on the crash wedding. It. Yeah, I didn't want to crash it or anything <laughs> like that. But I looked around the grounds, really nice, very mountain, mountain feeling, um, but also gorgeous. Uh Tons of places to put, take photos. There was a lovely stream uh, that ran into the water to the lake. And it, it's just a gorgeous place. I mean, Montana just really wowed me. <laughs> and the third one is called the Conrad Mansion Museum in Kalispell, Montana. Now, I only went there because the girl that I was with got married there over 20 years ago. And it was really, really cool. It's a mansion museum on the inside but the grounds are beautifully manicured with flowers and beautiful trees and nice green lawns so it is a perfect place to get married if you live in the area or if you want to have a destination wedding there is just tons of things to do around there especially if you're outdoorsy you can go up mountains you can kayak you can I'm sure in the winter snowshoe and all kinds of stuff but this mansion was really neat. And what happened was when we got there, we were able to take the the tour. It has a really neat history to it. It's from 19 or 1895. Hmm. So it's really old and it's been in the family since it was built. And then they turned it into a museum. So I will post some photos of that and some links to where you can find out about weddings at the mansion. Check it out because it's really of a beautiful spot to get married and even even the little town of Kalispell is it feels hometowny. I don't know what to how to explain it, but it doesn't feel like like a tourist town or anything like that. It was just very kind of down home, kind of relaxed and laid back type place. Hmm. I don't I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I did not see any elk or moose or anything like that while I was there or bison or whatever it is, but this is more in a plains area, so we're not in the mountains exactly. Hmm. Um, but again, all the way around mountains, there's lakes everywhere, just tons of things yeah. to do. I'm watching that show Yellowstone. Uh-huh. On the Universal Channel or the yeah, Universal yeah, Universal Network with um, Kevin Costner in it. And they're in like right outside of Billings, close to Yellowstone National Park. 
Okay. I think that's on the other side of where I was. No. I don't think we, we went over all the mountains, you know, so hmm. I, I didn't know Montana was so diverse. <laughs> <laughs> But it was really beautiful. I was very impressed. If you're looking for a fun, different place, check out Montana and check out episode 139 where Kate tells us all about it. Don't forget about our timelines and checklists on our website. It's for ringdevail.com slash checklist. It's full of budget sheets and things you can check off and day of timelines and things like that that you need to know about your wedding and how... Yes to do your wedding and <laughs> how to keep track of your wedding and all kinds of things. So check those out. It's $2.99 for the whole lot and you can print them out and write all over them. And if, Hey, if we're missing something, let us know. We will, we'd love to come up with another sheet or something to, to slide in there and help out even more. If you are looking from, for some from ring to veil swag we have our store up at from ring to veil.com slash t-e-e you can find shirts notebooks tote bags all kinds of goodies and again our facebook group is from ring to veil.com wedding planning community join us get some great advice and vent a little and we'll help you out if you're feeling extra extra love for us check out our patreon page from ring to veil uh, on patreon you know, the way I view it is like a tip. You know, we give you this service. You love it. So you tip and you want to support us. If you feel if you if you feel so inclined, please, please check out our Patreon page. Subscribe to the podcast. We're everywhere. You listen to them. Apple, Google, Spotify, Alexa. And until next time, no stress, no worries. Keep calm and listen on. Music provided by bensound.com.